Hey everybody, it's me, Black Arts here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a background for your phone. And you're going to be doing this on Android, and yeah, let's get started. So first of all, uh, if you hear any noise in the background, that's just a beeping noise that's uh, caused by machines, so just ignore it. But first of all, once you um, get all the apps, go to um, PS Touch and press the plus, and make the width to 720. So let me do that real quick. All right, and after that, make the height to 1280. All right, after that, press OK. And yeah, after you've done this, just press um, press the back button on the uh, top left, and just press Save. And after that, just go to Google, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And first of all, you need to search up GFX backgrounds. And just find a cool uh, type of background you want to choose. I'm just doing uh, abstract because I think it goes well. I'm going to be using this one, I guess, for that. Or something else. I'm just going to be searching around. And yeah, I'll be right back if I find a good one. Alright guys, I'm back. And I'm just going to use this one instead. And it's just um, the first one gfx backgrounds abstract so i'm just gonna download it and i'll be right back to photoshop all right guys after that go to the plus button and go to photo layer and just pick the latest download file which is on um, your background and after that just match uh, match it the way you want it to be and i'm just gonna put it uh uh like this oh so it covers the whole entire screen and um, check mark it after that uh, I usually go and make another extra layer and press the and to the top right and I'm just gonna add a gradient and I'm gonna add a little dark darkness thing thingy right here a little lighting shadow and after that after you put that in just press the check mark there you go and you can make it lighter or darker however you want and after that, I want to change the colors on this, so I'm going to make an empty layer, and I'm going to go to paint tool, and I'm going to go to brush, and I'm going to make the size bigger, make the flow smaller, all the way to like 50, and I'm just going to change the color, so I'm just going to change um, the colors to different types, and I'm going to make the orange, uh, I'm gonna make the colors orange, purple, and blue. So, uh, you're just gonna do that all over the place. So, I'll be right back once I'm done. Alright, I'm done. After that, just go to FX, go to basics, and put in gush and blur. And just make it a lot more blurrier. And all the way to the max. After that, go to the layers, right next to the plus. And go to blend mode and put um put it to overlay. And there you go. That's how I want it. All right, you can put under it or however you want. And after that, just go to the layer and just um flatten flatten it all out. All right, now we're gonna save it. And I'll meet y'all at the Pixel app. Alright guys, I barely got Pixel app. So first of all, you need to make the background transparent. And I'm just going to make the color black for now. But I'm going to make it tra transparent once I'm going to render it. So, first of all, you see the text right here. This is how I'm going to make it. You can make the text however you want. So, first of all, I'm going to make one letter pop out. Uh, which is a capital, a capital letter. And I'm going to put my name. T. Um, I'm gonna put the first letter of my name, which is T, and you're gonna make any font you want. Uh, add any font you want. I'm gonna add a font which uh, I downloaded. So I'm gonna go to download. If this is correct, nope. All right, I'm gonna be right back until I found the file. All right, guys, I'm back, and out of all the fonts, you just need the one font, which is called Adventure. And 
let me just change that to T. And there we go. Oh yeah, make sure there's a space in front of it. And behind it. And there we go. And I'm going to make that bigger. Alright. And after that, just um, press the plus and add a new text. And I'm going to finish my name, which is going to be Oni Tony. There we go. And you're going to change the font. And it's original font for Pixel Lab. And it's going to be the fifth one. Uh, basic. And I'm going to make that bigger. And I'm going to line it up. Now I'm going to make it like that, but I'm going to make it more even, but I'm also going to make it more bigger. Now, this isn't the first time I've done this uh, using this type of way. Uh, I made my own background, and I used it the same way as this. So, this is only if you like it this way, but if you don't, that's fine. You can make it the text however you want. So, after you've done that... Make it transparent and press the share button and make the dimension ultra that's if you have a good device and save it to the gallery and after it's done saving the image i'll be right back all right we're back to the photoshop touch now go to the file or well, the project you were working on and after that um let me just go to show pointer press the plus button go to photo layer and go to pixel lab and press the file file or picture you were using and once it's done loading just put it uh, bigger or smaller however you want to put it and I'm gonna make it bigger in that case so right about here and there we go so uh right here and just check mark it now the way i put it it's a bit more difficult for me so first of all uh you're gonna put in colors to your text and the colors i'm using it's gonna be orange blue and purple so i'm just gonna be a speed uh, i'm just gonna speed this up so it won't take forever to watch so you're gonna be using the same type of um, things I use. So make the size 20, make the flow 51 or 50, or it doesn't matter. And yeah, it's just gonna color the whole entire thing. So yeah, I'll be right back. done coloring it um I'm, I'm just gonna add some effects to it so i'm gonna show you how to do that now so go to empty layer and press and and fill in stroke and just put any color you want and after that go to the layer that you were making the text and press the square with the system thing logo logo and press select pixels go to the um, white layer Press the pencil and press clear. After that, go to FX and go to glow. After that, go to uh, the color and make it black and make it make it however you want. The um very but these two fonts are different, so the more um um darkness you put into it, the less you will see for the other color. So put it however you want, or if you wanted to. You can just go to right here and make the polygon section tool and make the uh, minus with the square and just go around this area right here. And after that, go to effects. So uh, this will do, it will just only just put um, the glow, the little shadow of the darkness. Uh, it only show on this um, 
letter and you can put the blur right here and after you put it like that press check and go to the system right here and press deselect and go back to the uh, uh, text and press select pixels and go to the poly polygon tool and just deselect the pixels in this area of the font that you just load and go back to the white uh, layer and press FX and press glow and now you can put higher however much darkness you want to put into it and uh, the first time I did this I didn't put too much so like that after that just press extract oh wait not all that all right go back and go to the layer that you made the text and press select pixels and then press extract now you're gonna do the same process but you're gonna do it with the white uh, glow instead so I'm just gonna do that real quick so it's the same process you gotta do this select pixels and clear it and you can just make the glow white instead of black so there we go and uh, you don't need to put too much glow of white because the black will not look as good. So, right here, but I'm, it looks kind of ugly for the other fonts, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And sorry if this tutorial might take a little bit long because uh, I this is kind of a long process for me. But if you do this over and over, it might get faster and easier. But, uh, for this instance, it's taking long because it's a tutorial. I have to show y'all each, each step. Alright, and you just gotta select pixels. And go back to the layer. And, uh, deselect this T. By the way, I have not done a voice video thingy. With my, like, any type of video that includes my voice. Because, well, to be honest, it's been a while. So sorry if I'm rusty, and I also got a new device, which is the LG Silo 4. So hopefully the quality on this phone is way better. And the previous phone I had was the LG Silo 2. So I'm just gonna put this to three, and press check mark, and press extract. And after that, uh, wait, don't press extract. Make sure to go back to this layer, press uh, pixels, then extract. Alright, so after you've done that, press the layer right here, and just merge down. And after that, go right here to layer again, to next to the um, plus button, press blend mode. And after you go to blend mode, press overlay, and there you go. So that's just a little bit of effect. And if you really wanted to, you can just do... Um, you can just duplicate uh, duplicate the layer. Also, make sure to merge the layer with um, the effect to the text. And just uh, after that, go to the layer that you just duplicated. Press select pixels and make a gradient out of it. But that depends if it looks good. But that th that's only if you want to. So, like the gradient looks like this. By the way, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to control because uh, I don't know why. It's, I have a new phone, which the interface is kind of smaller for some reason on this phone. I don't know why. And after that, I'll go to blend mode and make the overlay. There you go. After that, press on deselect. Now, we're going to add another effect. So, basically, duplicate the layer that I and right here and push it up well you can use either this or this doesn't really matter but make sure the layer that you're using to make the uh effect uh is under the original layer it's right here and after that go to effects go to directional blur and put it to like i don't know around like uh, uh around the corner and just put it to around uh, degree 45 and put the blur to uh, let's say 
let's just say actually make the degree 32 and make the uh, blur to around actually we don't make it too big we just gotta make it a little bit smaller so around right here to around 15 and you can see that's like there's little marks in the middle right here between each layer of the blur so just gl um, gush and blur it but don't make it too blurry just make it 1.2 there we go and uh, one more thing just go to duplicate the layer the original layer and put it at the top and uh, select pixels right here go to FX and go to edges and make the back color make the uh, opacity to zero and make the edge color to uh, I use purple and use it I'm gonna use a light purple make the there's hold to one and I'm gonna make the width to one and there we go actually uh, 0.5 for this in, for this instance and press check mark and just press deselect press fx and go to style stylize and press ripple now uh there's different ways of doing the ripple thing this is the way i'm gonna do it so uh these are words I never use, so sorry if I misspell it in any way. So uh, make the make the first thing apulate, apulude, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm just gonna call it first and second, and well, different frequency. I don't know what to say, but whatever. So make the first one uh, 33, uh, 23.5, but it might be different for you. I don't know to be honest. Make the frequency 22.6 press check mark and make the basic go to basic and go to directional blur and make the make it like that so uh, directional blur don't make it too blurry just make it blurry so it can be kind of noticeable so put it to five and over here to the very bottom where you put the directional blur press uh never mind don't do anything to that i was just testing it out so after that go um, go back to this and go to the layer and press uh liner dodge and uh sometimes if you want to you can make it a bit bigger So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, right here. And like, wait, hold on. So first of all, you have to put it like around the place. And you can use the, whatever this is, the symbol I'm pressing on. Uh, you can hold, uh, touch that so you can stretch out the whole entire thing. And like that. So this just adds a little bit of effect. And you can make the capacity a little bit smaller, so it's not like a huge thing. And there we go. So, that's how you can make it. You can change the background to make it look nicer. And you can add a, um, make it darker. And I'm going to add a gradient to the background so it looks nicer. So, I'm going to do that real quick. And there we go. And I'm just going to press overlay. And you can just move around the gradient so it looks, doesn't look too weird. So I'm going to do that real quick. And you're just going to move it around. And uh, the thing I was saying about earlier, my D-pad or um, movement. I mean, the intersurface of my phone is really small for some reason for Photoshop. I don't know why. Sorry, uh, sorry if that kind of distracts you because it's kind of you know, harder for me to control it like that. So yeah, that's how you can make it. And if you really wanted to make it look nicer, you can add a drop shadow to the text. 
which I don't think it does really anything like this and there we go so that's how you can make a background for your phone I guess and I already have a background I cannot find a better background to be honest and I'm just gonna make the background darker so I'm just gonna select pixels make film stroke and make the color black and make the capacity a little bit smaller and I'm gonna make it to like 51 there we go and yeah that's pretty much it so that's how you can make a little background for your phone on PS touch with pixel lab I already made one before I'm gonna just put it on the screen right now and the, the one I did on the screen was like, uh, it was the first time I ever did it. And it looks better than this one I just made. And that was just because, well, I was taking my time. Which, I had to rush this a little bit because, well, it's for a tutorial. And, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not good when I have to record and do graphics about with talking tutorial. Which isn't really my style. But, yeah, this is how you can make it. You can change the background to make it look nicer and stuff. Well, yeah, other than that, actually, I uh, actually made a background that has, uh, I'm gonna assume gonna make it how to make a, uh, I'm not sure what's called, a ripple background. It uses this uh, effect right here, ripple background. I'm sure you'll have to do that later. But for now, this is how you can make a background for your phone. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully this helped. This took a little bit of a long time to make. But thank you for so thank you all so so much for watching. I'm having I'm struggling talking because I'm not really used to doing this. But thanks for watching. Bye bye.